Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2015 Toyota 4Runner Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its parking sensor, so you also have your power moonroof and your heated and cooled front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2015 Toyota 4Runner Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this limited model is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then taking a closer look at the front uh, grill, you're going to see the chrome accents on there. And then you'll also find your plug-in block heater just in the center. You also have your parking sensors and then over on the side you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have your running boards, and then taking a look up top, you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors, vortex generators. And the other nice thing with the limited models, it does have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your brown leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls along with your parking sensors on and off, window wiper de-icer and your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows, along with your seat memory controls. And then if we take a look just at some of the features that you'll see on the steering wheel here, you'll find your scroll function, Mac, mode select, volume control, Bluetooth voice recognition display, and your cruise control. Now, one of the nice things with this multi-informational display is that you can go through many of the different options on here, which include your speed, as well as your settings menu, and if you keep scrolling through, you have your trip info, as well as your cruising range, and a couple of other additional features. Now, taking a look at the very bottom there, you're going to see your digital compass as well as an exterior temperature gauge. And taking a look just over at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options. Taking a look over on the left, you'll find the push button start. So all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. You have your digital clock, hazard lights, and then heading into the apps menu, you'll find your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Located just down below, you do have your temperature control settings for your dual zone climate control with your front, rear, and mirror defroster. Underneath, you'll see your USB and auxiliary with your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger. With your power outlet, 4x4 selector, and it's matted to a automatic transmission. With the open and close for the power rear window, your auto dimming rear view mirror and a couple of the controls you'll see at the top here include your integrated garage door opener, traction control on and off, a track and as well as your downhill assist control with your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof just for those days when you want to have a bit of a breeze flowing through the vehicle and then you also have your sunglass case holder with the visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side just in case you forget your sunglasses at home. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. And then on the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side with your rear hatch release located just underneath your forerunner emblem. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. The nice thing with this Forerunner Limited is it does come with the 50-50 split for your third row passengers. So if you do need the additional uh, passenger capacity, it's available to you. And then if you do need to fold down the second row seats, you can do so as well. Now the other nice thing that comes with this Limited is it does have the cargo liner in the back. So in the event that you place any liquids back here and they accidentally spill out, it makes things much easier to clean up afterwards. Now over on your right hand side, you are also going to find the two power outlets. So if you're ever out at the cabin or in the lake during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools, you can do so. Or if you'd like, you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now the other thing I like with this 4Runner as well is that you can actually open up the power rear window from the outside as well. So as long as you have your key fob on you at all times, you, all you have to do is just hold down on the down button and it will roll down. But if you let go part way, it's going to keep itself open part way. So you want to make sure you open it up all the way. And if you need to throw a couple of things back here really quickly, you can do so. And then vice versa, just push up on the up button and then it will close automatically for you. So you want to make sure you hold down that button 
entirely until it's closed. Now if you forget to actually lock your doors up, you don't have to worry because when you close up the window this way, it locks the doors automatically for you. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2015 Toyota 4Runner Limited, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.